Hey everybody, this is Dave Bensman with Bensman Home Computer Repair, and today I'd like to just go over a few random tips uh, for Windows that uh, might make your experience a bit easier. The first one has to do with uh, copying files. Uh, basically, let's say you want to copy a file and you want to do it really simply and easily. All you have to do, if you look in the lower left-hand corner of your desktop, you'll uh, see the control button. If you just hold the control button down uh, and you drag the file over, it'll just create a copy of itself. That's it. So all you do is hold the control key down, drag the file. So that's a lot easier than right click and then copy and then right click and then paste. Another thing you can do is uh, make your uh, surfing around YouTube a lot easier by using the J and L keys. Uh, so let's say you open up YouTube like this and you're in a video and let's say you want to fast, hang on, let me turn the volume on you. Let's say you want to fast forward this video. All you got to do is hit the L key and it will fast forward the video 10 seconds. And if you want to go backwards, just hit the J key and it will rewind the video 10 seconds. And then if you want to pause the video, all you have to do is tap the space bar. So you can do all that from your uh, keyboard without having to hunt up uh, the mouse and hunt for the buttons on the screen. So that's pretty handy. Uh, the other thing is, that you can do is, as you saw me do, is you can mute the volume right there and then you can turn the volume up and down right there uh, you can skip ahead to the next video right there and then there are all these buttons right here you've got uh, closed captioning if you want to see uh, subtitles uh, you've got uh, the ability to change your quality level so I got mine set to auto so it'll always go to the highest level uh, but if I was trying to download the video in a hurry and didn't really care about the quality, I could downgrade that. Um, you can click on this and it will play the video in the corner of your screen. So let's say you're here and you want to keep trying, you know, hunting for videos. You can do that while simultaneously playing that video. Uh, and that, that will play until you click on another one of these videos like that. Uh, then you've got this guy right here, the uh, theater mode. That'll uh, widen it out to your whole screen. And you've got um, the full screen in the right-hand corner. And you can escape full screen by clicking on uh, that again or by hitting the escape key on your keyboard. And uh, those are pretty handy uh, YouTube skills to have. Uh, here's a tip. If you see an image, um, let's see, let's type in uh, Hindenburg and let's go to um, any website. Let's see. Uh, okay, yeah. All right. So let's say there's an image and you, you want to find out where that image came from. Uh, all you have to do is uh, hold down uh, S, the, the S key on your keyboard, and then right-click the image. And Google will do a reverse search for that image, uh, telling you uh, everything you want to know about that image. Uh, so that can come in pretty handy if you see an image uh, in a website and you don't know where it came from. Uh, that, will, uh, that will clue you into that. Uh, another cool thing to know how to do in Windows is if you want to move your window around and you don't want to use your mouse, uh, all you have to do is hold down the Windows key on your keyboard and then you press the down arrow, your uh, screen will go down like that. It'll completely disappear. If you, bring, if you hit the up arrow, it'll come back. If you hit the left arrow, it'll go to the right. If you hit the right arrow, it'll go back to where it was. If you hit the right arrow again, it'll go all the way to the right. So I'm just holding down my Windows key. It's in the lower left-hand corner of your keyboard. And then I'm just tapping the arrow keys. And as you can see, every time I tap a direction, the window goes in that direction. Right, up, up, left, down, 
down, right, and uh, that's very handy. And then if I want the window to disappear altogether, I tap the down arrow twice. And if I want it to come back to normal size, I tap the up arrow twice. So just hold down your Windows key, and then you can use your arrow keys to move your window around. That's pretty pretty uh, handy there. Uh, the last tip uh, I'm going to do today is uh, super awesome. I'm going to open a bunch of windows here. And uh, there we go. Okay, so let's say you have a bunch of windows open, right? So... Um, getting out of those windows and getting back to your desktop can sometimes be a pain if you're if you're doing that with each individual window getting back to your desktop can be a bit of a pain so there's really one uh there's a way to do all that with just one click if you are using windows 10 in the lower right hand corner of your screen you'll see this little sliver down here and if i move my uh, if I move my cursor all the way to the lower right hand corner, you really have to jam it into the lower right hand corner, you can see the desktop. Now as soon as you move it back out again, you're not going to see the desktop anymore. Um, but if you did want to just get back to your desktop, all you have to do is move it to the lower right hand corner and left click. And that'll take you to your desktop. Uh, and then if you want to get back there, you move it into the lower right hand corner, click again, and it reopens all your windows. So basically you put your cursor in the lower right hand corner and you click, you left click, and that'll take it back and forth from whatever windows you had open to your desktop. I hope everybody uh, found today's video to be helpful. And if so, please like and share the video and please subscribe. And if anybody is in the Memphis, Collierville, Germantown, Midtown, Cordova, or Millington area and you need in-home computer repair, please feel free to call me, Dave Bensman at Bensman Home Computer Repair at 901-830-4362. I can fix your computer in your home while you wait. And as always, stay safe.